Hi, it's Mohammed again, September 12th in Washington, D.C. I'm actually at the America's Islamic Heritage Museum in Washington, D.C. As I promised, um, we would be out here um, engaging in various communities um, at the grassroots levels. And a lot of criticism, to be quite frank with you, oftentimes is that Quilliam isn't engage with local communities. I'm on the board of this museum. It's a wonderful gem in the middle of Washington in Old Anacostia. I highly encourage you to take a look at it too as well, where we work with the community as well on issues that are affecting them. It's not just high level strategic issues. It's certainly working with people in terms of the history itself. So wanted to just let you know we're here. I'm gonna take you inside the museum and you'll see a bit more. So as promised, we are inside the America's Islamic Heritage Museum. You will see the various history of Muslims. In this particular room, this is uh, Muslims in uh, uh, the 1800s. Uh, we have individuals, and you see the Gullah Geechee community in the background, my ancestral roots of Muslims uh, in the Sea Islands of South Carolina and Georgia. We also see uh, Ibrahim Abdurrahman, Ismi Abdurrahman, also known and affectionately called the Prince Amongst Slaves. You see Muslims in Muhammad, uh, um, Maryland, a town, Muslims, Civil War veterans, et cetera. Um, as I mentioned to you, I'm part of this uh, museum. I have work and contribute to it. In another room right here, we have the diverse experience of Muslims, Albanian Muslims. We see the late Imam Warfdin Muhammad, who I consider the patron saint of American Islam, one in which I did my doctoral work and have um, been working on too as well. So. Right here, just wanted to showcase some of the highlights at the museum, and uh, probably next up, you'll see us in uh, uh, San Diego, California, prepping for training, and then onwards to uh, Washington, excuse me, into New York City.